Jack Horkheimer, Stargazer, tells you all about the night sky and the biggest show of all, the universe. And now, this week's episode. Cosmic Night of the IRS. A crescent moon visits Mercury, plus Venus begins a trip to the Seven Sisters. Greetings, greetings, fellow stargazers. Throughout this week and next, you'll have the wonderful opportunity of seeing the two planets closest to the sun, still very close to each other in early evening skies. Plus, an exquisite crescent moon will not only pay a visit to planet number one on IRS night, it will later pay a visit to the enchanting Seven Sisters. After which, planet number two will slowly ascend the heavens for its own meeting with the Seven Sisters. Let me show you. Okay, we've got our sky set up for this Sunday, April 11th, 45 minutes after sunset, facing west, where the brightest thing you'll see will be the most brilliant planet of all, planet number two, 8,000 mile wide Earth-sized Venus, named for the Roman goddess of love. And just below it, and still very close after its super close meeting with Venus last weekend, the smallest planet, planet number one, 3,000 mile wide Mercury, named for the swift messenger of the gods. And just above the two of them, the very tiny star cluster, the Seven Sisters. Now, here's the game plan. If you go out every night and take a peek at the relationships of these three, you'll notice that Mercury and Venus will steadily move a little farther apart from each other. Mercury descending to the horizon and Venus ascending up toward the Seven Sisters. Monday the 12th, Tuesday the 13th, Wednesday the 14th. But then, on that most dreaded day of the calendar, Thursday, April 15th, IRS Day, to help take some of the sting out of paying our taxes, the cosmos will present us with an exquisite picture of a slender sliver of a two-day-old crescent moon, complete with Earth shine, which will look like a grayish-black full moon nestled within it, hovering just above Mercury. A beautiful sight to the naked eye, and in binoculars, and through a small telescope. And now here's where the really fun part comes in. You see, because the moon is so close to us, it changes its place in the sky drastically from night to night. Whereas the planets and stars are so far away from us, they move much slower in relation to us. So make a note of where the moon is in respect to Mercury, Venus, and the Seven Sisters on April 15th. And then 24 hours later, voila, a slightly fatter moon will have leapfrog past Venus and will make another exquisite picture but this time with the Seven Sisters. Don't miss these two nights. April 15th, the Moon and Mercury, and April 16th, the Moon and the Seven Sisters, after which the Moon will continue its leapfrogging around the heavens night after night, while Venus slowly continues ascending and Mercury descending. And believe me, your patience will be rewarded, because on Sunday, April 25th, Venus will pay a beautiful visit to the Seven Sisters and huddle up right beside them. Another perfect picture for the naked eye, binoculars, or a small telescope. But once again, let me caution you that although these objects look close to each other, they are indeed not. In fact, on IRS night, the moon will be only 239,000 miles away, Mercury 67 million miles away, Venus 142 million miles away. But the Seven Sisters, a whopping 2.4 quadrillion miles away. Wow! Keep looking up! Make the Stars Your Own is available on DVD or VHS for $19.95. 